Well, you tell me when. We're supposed to record to the cloud. I hope that's how it's supposed to go. Hope so. <laughs> Let me call Eric and make sure. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Uh, as a preliminary matter, this is John Brescher, the chair of the um, Town Real Estate Assessment Committee. Committee, uh, permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can, can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please re respond in the affirmative. Rhoda Weinman. Present. Uh, Thomas Barrida. Uh, present. Thank you, Tom. John Brescher, the chair, is present, um, and we're anticipating Lee Saperstein momentarily. Uh, staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Eleanor Antoinetti. Here. Ken Bogrand. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, any anticipated uh, speakers? I see that Mr. Lilly is here. Uh, Mr. Lilly, we're ultimately going to be continuing this per an email, but if you would like to identify yourself for the meeting, that'd be great as well. Uh, David Lilly. Thank you, David. Um, okay. So good afternoon. This open meeting of the Real Estate Assessment Committee is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order on March 12, 2020 due to current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted on the agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comments. For this meeting, the town, uh, the Real Estate Assessment Committee is convening by video conference via the Zoom app as posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. Um, Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are partici participating via video conference. According accordingly, please be aware that the other folks may be able to see you and to take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials have been provided uh, members of this body are available that have been provided to members of this body are available on the Times website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I note otherwise. Um, meeting ground rules. Okay, we're now turning to the first item on the agenda, but, but before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. Uh, I, the chair, will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called further. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a conversation with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. And for any items of public comment, after the members have spoken, the chair will afford public comment to those members of the public that have joined the meeting via Zoom. Members of the public who wish to speak must state their names and be acknowledged by and speak through the chair. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by a roll call vote. Makes sense? Uh, you, Makes sense. You, can not, you can see that Lee's here now, by the way. Lee, all right. John, uh, I believe the word is used in the vernacular, my bad. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, Lee. Present, present and accounted for. Okay. Um, thank you all for convening on, uh, for this meeting. Uh, it's nice to see all of you as we haven't seen each other since March, uh, albeit um, via a screen, but still. Um, okay. So uh, first time on the agenda. Agenda is a call to order, um, but what we have, the next item we have is um, the approval of the agenda. Uh, we are going to, with, with everyone's blessing, make a um, change to the agenda. Uh, as you may or may not notice that uh, Penny is not here. Um, she's dealing with a family emergency. Um, and as such, uh, and also Rhoda is going to be recused from the uh, first, the first two items on the conveyances, Fife Trustee and the 55 Holbert Avenue LLC. Um, given the history of this property, I think it, we would uh, be doing ourselves and the public a disservice if we did not have all, or as, at least as many members present as possible for this. Um, and so with that in mind, I would uh, like to request an amendment to the uh, agenda to continue these two matters until our next regularly scheduled meeting so we can have a full board for this. So moved. 
Okay, there was there was a motion. Is there a, is there a second on the motion to amend the agenda? John, I'm happy to. I think there's only three of us. Is that correct? Second. Yeah, Rhoda, Rhoda, Rhoda is with me. So there are four of us total. Okay. Oh, um, Rhoda, Rhoda's here, but she's recusing from two of the items. Got it. That's right. Um, so motion has been made and seconded. Uh, is there any discussion on the motion? Okay. All those in favor, I'm going to go through roll call vote. Uh, Rhoda Weinman? Aye. Lee, Lee Saperstein? Aye. Thomas Barrida? Aye. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, and I, John Brescher, the chair, votes aye. So that, so that those matters are continued until our next regularly scheduled meeting, which hopefully will be uh, sooner rather than later. So we can give it its full, um, the, the weight it deserves. Uh, next item on the agenda is public comment. Uh, any members from the public wish to comment about anything that's coming up? If not, we can move on. Okay. Uh, approval of the minutes of March 10th, 2020. Um, uh, I have a question. Uh, sorry, can, is, is that you, Thomas? Well, I, I want to make a comment or a question. Yeah, sure, go for it. To, yes, it is. I wanted to follow up in regard to the, in regard to the uh, lawyer piece for this whole program that I had oh. given Andrew, I believe back in the March, February meeting, and then yep. we were gonna follow up with it. And I know that COVID hit, so to bring that back around. Okay, that is, I don't know that we have anything, we certainly don't have anything on the agenda for this, but that is an excellent thing to uh, circle back on for our next, for our next, uh, for our next meeting. I, that's- that would, that would be most appreciative. Thanks. Makes sense. Okay. All right. All right. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you. Um, okay. So let's move on to sort of the meat of the discussion today. We've got two orders of taking. Uh, first on. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. No, no, we don't. Approve what you do. You also have the approval of the minutes. Approval of the minutes. I'm Thank sorry. You. That's my um, bad. It's all right. Just want to. I was, I, was, I was assuming that we were going to punt on the meetings, uh, on the minutes until our next meeting. You still have um, to vote because it's on the agenda. Yes. Okay. Um, so we have time to look at the meeting minutes. Uh, I would, I would entertain a motion to continue the the approval of the minutes of March tenth, twenty twenty, to our next regularly scheduled meeting. So moved. All right. Motion has been made. Is there a second to continue the vote on the meeting minutes? Hey, please here. Yes, I. <laughs> thank you. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Second. Okay. Thank you. All right. If not, uh, all those in favor, we're going to do this by roll call vote again. Rhoda Weinman? Yes. Okay. Lee Saperstein? Aye. Tom Sparrida? Aye. Thank you. And John Brescher, the chair, votes aye. So that is uh, continue to our next aye. meeting. Aye. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, we have orders of taking. Um, so first one is Carpenter on 14 Pequot, uh, parcel A on uh, plan 2020-15. Um, Eleanor, anything we need to, or, or Ken, anything we need to know about this or this is one of our standard? Um, this is a standard things. one. It's actually, um, it was lagging because these. this is an older couple and their son. I reached out, I had a really difficult time getting a hold of them. And finally, through <laughs> title examiner sleuthing, I figured out who, it was funny how I got in touch, but eventually reached the sun. And so they do want to acquire this parcel in order to make sure that they have an adequate driveway. It's a slightly odd shape, you'll note. Uh, if you want, I can share the screen, unless you all have it to look at yourself. Sure, why don't you just share the screen? That would be swell. Okay. Uh, let's see. Find the right. So many things open, so give me a I second. I was going to ask about that little notch. It's, yes, it's purposeful. I asked them to do that and the survey to do that so that they don't end up with an issue. Hold on one second. I seem to have. Oy, oy, oy. Okay. My apologies. It's kind of difficult to navigate so many things at once. So you have to bear with me. Um, now I, now I cannot find. Good God. 
Oh, I can't find it. What the heck? Nope. Nope. Bear with me, I'm sorry. That's okay, I had trouble pulling this one up from the registry's website. No, I have it on my screen. It's just, and I've done this a million times, but somehow this is be proving problematic for me to find what I want to share. And that's not it. Damn it. Whoa. And that's not it, but it's pretty. That's a lovely waterfall. Oh, God. I Did I jinx us by asking for the screen share? I don't know why this is, I'm very sorry. This is very, okay. here we go, I got it. Okay, whew. All right. Okay. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, look at that. All right, so there we go. So, do you have okay. adequate, adequate vision of this? I can zoom yes. a little bit. Okay, so it's shaped this way so that they have an, a driveway that meets, I mean, obviously our driveway's here anyway, but it's, this is more of a frontage issue. Oh, interesting, okay. So I wanted to make sure we didn't create a zoning nonconformity, so I asked the surveyor to do it that way, and they were fine with it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And uh, I assume that we've got, uh, well, I shouldn't assume, but oh, uh, when it comes time for disposition, we'll work on um, making sure the pedestrian easement. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. Perfect, cool. Okay. All right, does anybody have any other questions? If not, may I have a motion to authorize the uh, order of taking of parcel A on plan 2020-15? So moved. Motion made, is there a second? Seems to be my job, John. Second, Lee. Thank you, Second. Lee. Second. Okay, thank you, Lee and Thomas. All right, we'll do a roll call vote. Rhoda Wyman? Yes. Lee Saperstein? Aye. Thomas Barretta? Yes. And John Brescher, chair votes aye. Okay, can next can, one. John, can you give me a second? You're going so fast, I can't keep up. So just give me you got 10 it. seconds. Thank you. Taking an exit and managing the screen is just <laughs> kind of tough. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Okay, next item up, uh, V, Three Gladlands Ave. Um, these are takings of easement areas of ghost paper streets. Um, Let's see. Uh, do you do you have? Can we put put that one up on the screen as well? Sure. Thanks. All right. Give me a second. Uh, okay. So. Nope. Sorry. That's Trebini, I think. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, man. Damn it. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, there you go. Here it is. Yeah, that's it. Oof. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they've, they've, they have uh, been using this as their own property for a long time, I believe, correct? So the... So the so these are these are the ghost streets. Yes, yes, I'm yes. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, all right. Does anybody have any questions about the uh, acquisition of these? Yeah. Which picture are we looking at? Oh, the one on the screen. Yeah, yeah. The one, yeah, the one, the one that Eleanor is sharing, um, showing uh, that has a whole lot of writing on it for it has. Shock, shock it's got a kind of a circular driveway. Uh, no, no, that was the, that was the, I think the one we just did. Are you not seeing it on the screen? We I'm are. seeing glad. I'm seeing Gladlands Avenue. Yes. yes that's so it. this this east there's an easement area one right here. Okay. An easement area this? two. Yep. And then the easement area two is actually a T shaped, a, a, a turned on its side T shaped Shawakima with laurel. So it all is inside the bounds of the property. Oh, okay. So it's an, it's a lesser than fee. Take. So easement area E one's a little triangle on Correct. School Street. Yes. And then easement area two is all of whatever 
Shawakama Avenue and Laurel Street are called. Correct. Yes. Okay. I'm with you guys. Okay. All right. Any uh, any other questions on this one? If not, may I have a motion to authorize the taking of areas easement areas E1 and E2 on the attached plan? So moved. Motion made. Second. Anyone? Somebody got a second? I thought I heard a second. Nope. Nope. All right. Second, it. Lee. Fantastic. <laughs> it's oh. Lee. Just to confirm. Motion sure to take it. it. Okay. Motion made and seconded. Second. Is there any discussion Second. on the motion? Okay. If not, let's let's uh, please vote all in favor, and we'll do it by roll call vote. Rhoda Wyman. Yes. Okay. Lee Saperstein. Aye. Thomas Barretta. Might have technical difficulties. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And John Brescher, the chair, votes aye as well. Yes. Okay. Terrific. Okay, so that 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 wraps up the orders of taking. Uh, then we have uh, conveyances, as we said, six A and six B. Yes. Fifty-seven and fifty-five Holbert Burt Avenue have been um, continued to the next meeting. So we are dealing with Turbini Ten Skyline Drive. So I apologize for the late notice. We sent you um, the opinion from town council on the um, on sort of the history and the pricing of this uh, without naming names or uh, speaking ill of some of the surveyors of years past. What, ha what this, this is a notorious problem that has happened whereby a certain surveyor would incorporate Paper Street area into the lot area itself and did so for years upon years upon years. So uh, something with in, in an instance like this, um, we don't, historically we do not charge them um, because they've been paying taxes on it historically. Uh, they've always been incorporating, always been using it. Do they have an adverse possession claim? Possibly. Uh, don't know, but point is that for one of the for situations like these, we've we've historically found the most equitable is to just release the easement rights for a dollar. Um, Eleanor, Ken, did I did I miss anything or miss misspeak or add, do you want to add more flavor to that? Nope, it, it's been hanging around for a long period of time. It's about time to get this straightened out. Yeah, this is one of, um, we've done almost all of the Skyline or adjacent to Skyline mm -hmm. uh, conveyance, uh, takings and conveyances. There's one other one that needs to be, um, have some additional cleanup, but this is, the I believe, the next to last in the series. Great. All right. Um, does anybody have any questions or any comments on this? Uh, John, it's Lee. I just yes, want to be clear that we're conveying the uh, uh, portion of the paper street that they already believe they own. Mm -hmm. Is there any question of pedestrian easement? I don't believe so. Okay. So it's very simple. We're, we're conveying something that they believe they own. Well, no, it's, it, I don't even know that it's a conveyance as much as it, I mean, it, it's, it's a conveyance, but it's more so, and Eleanor, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's just a release of easement rights. I don't, I don't know that we're conveying the fee. We took the fee. Okay. Yes. But the authorization was the fee and lesser interests. Right. And because his, when I had gathered a lot of information given to Vicki, but she was so weighed down with other things, she only was able to get to it over the weekend, which was a holiday for her, so it was tough. But she did spend a lot of time looking at a lot of materials. And she and I talked, and I, as a former title examiner, just wanted her to weigh in with the, the legal imprimatur that it would be okay to do this for no consideration because it's always been from the time that a certain surveyor did the plan back in the day, incorporated it within the lot lines and shown as a hatched line. Uh, but in some cases out there, the deed descriptions are not according to the 11A 1979-81 Surfside plan. Some of those are according to the very old 1888 plan. Right. So it's sort of a mishmash out there. 
I really just needed her to weigh in and she agreed that a no consideration conveyance would be advisable and suitable here. Okay. All right, if there are, unless there are any other questions, um, may I please have a motion to authorize the select board to convey parcel B of Ir on Irving Street plan on plan number 2015-23 um, for $1 to the uh, record title holder. So moved. Motion made, is there a second? Aye, let's make it unanimous. This is Lee confirming, <laughs> second, aye. Thank you, Lee. Okay, motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Okay, if not, uh, I'm gonna go down and do a roll call vote for those in favor. Uh, Rhoda Wyman? Aye. Thank you, Lee Saperstein? Aye. Thomas Barretta? Uh, okay, well, we wait for Thomas. Uh, I, the chair, John Brescher votes aye. Um, we may have. I think Thomas doesn't realize his connection is very poor and he seems to have disappeared now. I was gonna well. say, we, we, may, we may have uh, lost Thomas. I think he has bad Wi-Fi wherever he is. Okay. All right. Well, that's three. Well, th still three in favor. And so, so th the motion passes. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda is this discussion regarding a memo to the select board explaining price, pricing structure and review. Uh, I think we had we had held this over from from the last time a couple times. Uh, I'm not sure. Where yeah, I just included it because it was on the March 13th meeting that we canceled. It was the only item on the March 13th meeting. So we met on the 10th yeah. to discuss a certain issue Yes, mm -hmm. that had happened at a select board meeting and, and Ken was sort of presenting different things to us. There was a, di a discussion about it. We continued so that you all could watch the select board meeting, which I sent you the link to. And then, of course, COVID. And but, um, COVID. Um, so we don't necessarily, in my opinion, need to move on this today because probably more time. I, you know, I, <laughs> I think it's worth holding off, frankly, especially in light of the fact that, I mean, July has come and gone. And I think we should check in with Rob at this point to see what's, what, what's going on in their world in terms of pricing. Um, can't, can't hurt. So I, I think much, much like the review of town council legal fees, I think it's good to circle back on. And so just, do you want to reach out to Rob uh, or have me do so and see if you'd be willing to attend our next meeting, whatever the date for that is? Yeah, that would be, that would be great. That, makes that, sense. that would be terrific if you don't mind. So uh, jo John and Eleanor, is this Rob Rennie we're talking about? Yes. yes. Sorry, yes. And, and has he been appointed as a uh, assessor? I, I don't think so. Uh, you don't think it's because De Debbie's Debbie's officially Debbie retired. Debbie retired, but I think that I, I, I believe been, that's the case, uh, or will be, because uh, <clears throat> well, Libby Libby got uh, uh, the select board to recognize the fact that she is abstaining from this appointment and asked them to make the appointment because of the family ties. Makes sense. I believe that that was what occurred at the last uh, select board meeting, but I'm not positive. Okay. All right. Well. If, 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 he's, if he's not there, he's acting. So we got that. I know he was acting at some point. Okay. All right. Well, I think I think it'd be great if we could have him for the next meeting. Even if he's acting. Even if, even if he's acting, yeah. I mean, just I think yes. I think that's a, a wise wise idea. Um. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Okay. So I will I will reach out to him on behalf of the committee. Is that okay, John? Yes, that would be terrific. Thank you. Um. Any any other business to discuss? All right, now for the $64,000 question, the date and the time of this next meeting. So Ken, I would assume, can you confirm the real estate discussion for select board will be on the 21st or the 28th of October? Um, it, would, it should be at the last one, but I'm just not sure. Yeah, because they're, they, they're squeezing it in on the 7th to accommodate because they couldn't make it work next Wednesday. Um, I'm sorry. What week are we now? 
Uh, where are we? So there's no meeting next Wednesday, so the next meeting is October 7th. Right. So, so they, right, they couldn't make it work this week, which would have been the normal time because they had too much other, too many other things. So this is why it's happening on the 7th because they're not meeting on the 30th, so they put, punted it to the 7th, but it normally would have been this week. So this is the September, typically the September stuff, but there will be an October real estate meeting also at the end of the month, I presume. So I'm thinking that's going to be on the 28th of October, in which case we would want to meet the week of the 5th or the 12th. I think the week of the 12th would be good. That allows time for us to deal with some of the other things, such as Thomas's request about lawyer fees and the memo, staff memo and that sort of stuff. It'll be by Zoom, of course. Of course. Forever. <laughs> Till November. <laughs> and of course, I, I have to confirm the, the availability. So this is yeah. to be confirmed, but we can of certainly, course. you you can select a date and time and. So I'm sorry, I'm having a mental cramp. So what, what, are, what are we thinking? We're, I, I'm okay with these either Monday or Tuesday meetings at two, but what, what's the timing in October? I'm thinking the week of October 12th, but if that doesn't work for people, we could do the week of October 5th. I believe the 12th is Indigenous Peoples Day, so. You're right, correct. We could do the 13th. Okay, let's go for that and I will confirm availability. This is, to, this is contingent upon availability yep. of a Zoom meeting. Is that, is that the second Tuesday? Of that's, the that's correct, uh, that's correct, Ken. Second Tuesday of October. Okay. Yes. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Does that work for you? Same bad channel. I think so. Okay. All I have to do is look at my calendar. I <laughs> put it on the calendar, but then I have to remember to look at it. Okay. okay. Love it. All right. All right. So 10 13 or October 13th, 2 p.m. Time to be confirmed, but that's what we'll aim for. Um, right. Okay. Unless anybody has anything else, uh, may I have a motion to adjourn, please? So motion to adjourn. Okay, motion made. Rhoda, will you second it? Second. Okay, motion made and second. We'll do the roll call vote. Uh, Rhoda Wyman? Yes. Lee Saperstein? We'll see you real soon. Right on. Tom Thomas Barretta? Yes. And the chair, John Brescher, votes yes or aye or whatever you want to call it. But all right, that's it. Thank you all very Thank much. You. Thank you. Right. Yep. Be well, everybody. Bye-bye.